Mm. Mm. Oh God. Mm. 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 Oh God, this is so tasty. Mm. Oh, hello, Alex. I heard that you're sick, so I wish you'd get better soon because uh, the weather outside is really awesome right now. Today is Monday and I didn't go to school. You know why? Because it's Jewish New Year's. It's Jewish New Year's. Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is uh, a holiday. Probably one of the most important holidays. Not like the, the big super holy one, but it's pretty important. Mm. So... What is it that Rosh Hashanah celebrates and why is it exactly today? We've all probably heard the story of the Genesis, not the, not the Sega Genesis, the Biblical Genesis, where, you know, God decided he should create some stuff and so he created heaven and earth and then created some land and some animals and some humans and all took him like six days or so and then he said the seventh day is like I'm going to rest and everyone should rest on the seventh day of the week and that's how we have Sabbat or Shabbos or Shabbat or uh, or Subota or however you like to call it. So Rosh Hashanah basically celebrates that exact day. Mm. 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 According to the Jewish calendar we've existed for roughly 5,700 years and that is literal. Exactly. Like the Bible, like religious Jewish people, they really think that we existed for this amount, exact amount of years. Basically, today is the day where God created every one of us, literally. Mm, mm. Oh crap, I have honey all over my table. Just like most Jewish holidays, Rosh Hashanah is very characteristic food. Pomegranate, which is this red fruit with this little like crown on top is uh, a very common fruit because it's supposed to symbolize uh, the Jewish nation because it has so many seeds inside and also the seeds inside celebrate the 613 commandments the Jewish have that they must fulfill. Other popular foods on Rosh Hashanah is the head of a fish because this, the head is supposed to symbolize like the head of the year, which is what Rosh Hashanah means. It means head of the year, literally. To, to be honest, fish heads are kind of gross. And apples with honey. Contrary to popular belief, the Bible never actually says that the fruit of Eden is an apple. The apple just symbolizes a lot of really cool stuff, but it doesn't have actually anything to do with the, the fruit that Adam and Eve ate. Some ideas about the fruit is that it's basically so exotic and so godly that we will never know what it is. Another theory is that this isn't actually a fruit but it's wet and basically humans learning to use wet to make things out of wet, to make bread and other wetty things has made us smarter. So basically some believe that the story of that the story of Adam, of Adam and Eve being exiled from Eden is actually about how we embraced agriculture. Oh. The honey with the apple is supposed to symbol is supposed to symbolize literally sweetness because when we celebrate Rosh Hashanah, we want our next year to be very very sweet. Oh. If you are celebrating Rosh Hashanah this year or, or decide to try apples with honey yourself, I strongly recommend Granny Smith apples because they are really sour and the, and with together with honey it's just so nice. Mm. 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 I'll see you next time and get better soon, please. I miss you.